Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy is examining the feasibility of inducting shore-based guided rockets or SBGR under MiG-2 category of DAP 2020. Approval in principle for this project was given on 16th January 2023. The Navy needs 10 batteries of SBGR and one as prototype. The SPGR is going to be an anti-submarine weapon consisting of multiple rocket launchers encased in a pod arrangement. The Navy has outlined the requirement of SBGR battery which will consist of launcher vehicle, command post, loading vehicle and replenishment vehicle. The rocket will have a range of up to 150 km and will consist of guidance system, warhead, fuses and propulsion system. The rocket will have length not more than 5.5 meter and its caliber between 200 mm to 300 mm. The rocket will be fired from parts consisting of four rockets and the number of parts per vehicle should be two or more. The rocket will have aerial as well as underwater guidance mechanism. The weight of rocket should be 350 kg plus or minus 20 kg. The rocket is to operate in supersonic range. The speed of rocket carrier shall be maintained at least Mach 3 to ensure minimum latency while attacking the target. The SBGR should be capable of firing rockets in centralized and manual mode. In centralized mode, the SBGR system will be capable of firing rockets with onboard fire control system in command post. The fire control system will be receiving target data through Indian Navy's command control and communication C3 system. The command post will have facility of data transmission and reception via UHF, VHF, HF and SATCOM link. Now DRDO does not have any offering of this type. However, SBGR system could be developed by DRDO from the experience gained from the development of guided Pinaka rockets and extended range anti-submarine rockets ER, ASR. Two labs of DRDO, ARDE and HEMRL has developed ER, ASR designed to replace the existing Russian origin rocket guided bombs or RGBs. The ERASR is a 212 mm rocket having a range of 8.9 km. The new rocket can carry 25 kg of warhead at a depth of 500 meters. It can be launched from existing RBU 6000 launchers integrated in almost all warships of Indian Navy. The ERASR was successfully test fired for the first time from Indian Navy's INS Chennai on 3rd April 2023. Now the Guide Pinaka is also a 212mm rocket capable of striking targets deep into enemy territory up to a range of 75km with precision. It is based on Pinaka Mark II rocket and makes use of Canard control to improve accuracy and increase the range. It is integrated with the Guidance, Navigation and Control GNC kit with the rocket in its OGIF portion. The GNC kit consists of unified avionics computer, canard driven by rotatory electromechanical actuators, thermal battery, fuse, telemetry and GPS antenna. It has accuracy of less than 30 meter at all ranges. So to summarize, DRDO will be looking to make use of technologies and components from ERASR and guided Pinaka. However, the range of SPGR rockets will be double of guided Pinaka, which means the rocket will have more propulsion. It would also be interesting to see if DRD is going to maintain the diameter of rocket to be 212 mm or increase it to 300 mm. There are few reports indicating that AID and LNT are working on Pinaka based extended range anti submarine rockets. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.